Welcome back to another video. This is educational code forces round 160 rated for due to and we're going to solve the second problem that is swap and delete. So let's see what the problem states. So we will be given a binary string S. S can be like 0, 1, 1, 1, 0 made up of 1s and zeros. That's what is called as binary string. And they are telling that you can perform two operations on S. What is the operation? I can remove a character from S. It is like cost one coin. I can remove zero also. I can remove one also anything. The cost is one or I can swap any pair of characters in S that operation is free. So what does that mean? I can swap uh, this zero with this one or I can swap this one with uh, this zero anything. But this cost is just zero only for deleting. It is one. You can perform any number of times any order. After that, you are performing all these operations, right? You are defining this uh, string after performing the operation as t. Then you are comparing each index of s and t. Then if uh, any of the character is not matching, then it is valid. If any of the character matches, then the string is not valid. So any of the character, any of the two characters, if it is not matching, it is valid. And any of the character, if it is matching, the whole string is not valid. So we have to f uh, find out what is the minimum total cost that is needed to make the string S as good. So one thing that many people might have made mistake and perhaps Code Forces itself uh, sent an announcement during contest is every if you are deleting, you are not deleting the characters from S. You are deleting the characters in T. You are cloning the S and deleting the characters. So suppose if T is also 1010110. Let's assume that I'm removing this, I'm removing this, the cost is two. What happens? I'm removing this, removing this. I'm not removing this, I'm removing from T only. Now what do I do? I wanna uh, swap these numbers. Let's say I want to swap this one with this and probably this one with this, okay. Now, is it fair for me to write like this 1100 zero zero space one? It is not, right? So what do I do? I just want to append all of these numbers because everything is removed. So everything gets adjusted to the extreme left. Now, what did they say? Compare numbers in the indexes. So this one, one, is it valid? No, it's not valid. So the whole string is not valid, but zero one is valid. One zero is valid. One zero is valid. This is also valid. Here, what you have to do, you have to remove this. If you remove this one, if I remove this one, every number gets appended on the extreme left okay now again is this valid no you are doing it again wrong now what do i do i just uh, i just want to push everything to the extreme left so if we take some examples we'll be able to understand see now now it is valid but zero zero is not valid so you need to remove this zero and you need to add uh, you need to add this one to here okay so we I made a lot of arrangements at last only these things remain so that the array is good so how many minimum number of operations needed to do this you can swap any number of times that is zero cost but for removing the cost is one so uh, let's see for some examples so that it will be more clear so let's say that uh, for the first example it is zero a s is zero t can be zero only if it is same it is not allowed so i need to remove this t with the cost of one empty string it is fine so it is good only so t is one so the cost is one now let's go for the next number that is zero one one what is the ideal way i can do uh, so in my good string for a corresponding index zero and one or one or zero should come so if this is s how will i do t i can just swap this zero and this one right so i can do like one zero this one i write like this only since this is same, it cannot be a good string. So what do I do? With the cost of one, I remove this number. So one, zero, one is valid, one, zero is valid. So you are getting one here. Now, everything is done. Now let's go for the uh, second example. So second example is what? Zero, one, zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. So ideally, what will I do? I want to put all the positions of uh, zeros to ones and ones to zeros. So that is my ideal approach, right? So I'll put this one here, I'll put this zero here. I'll put this one here, I'll put this zero here. Two ones are here, two zeros I take from here and two ones I put here. So zero one, I just swap it to one zero. So everything is happened by swapping only. I'm just swapping all of these numbers 
and all of these are good every index it is different so i am not reducing anything i am not deleting so the cost is zero let's say for next one 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 zero zero this is s so for t what do i do for t uh, i said that what i can put the most optimal value right if one is existing i can put zero here okay this zero is put here then this zero can be put here that means what this one is coming here okay i'm just swapping these numbers and one one whatever you do there are no zeros left at all so this one one will be one one only these numbers i just swapped so this is valid this is valid this is also valid so this is not possible so what do i do with the cost of one i remove this if i remove this what happens i am appending these numbers to the right okay so this comes here and this also comes here again this is not valid right so the cost of this is one and i am removing this so i am removing this now what happens uh this this will go here and this will also go here again what happens this one and one is not possible so if this one and one is not possible i am removing this i am putting the cost as one and i am appending this to the extreme left again it's not matching so i am removing this put the cost as one so you got the cost as four right that's how you got the four here the most uh, optimal way ideal way is ones will be zeros and zeros will be ones so i used all the zeros already then i can't proceed further because i don't have zeros to make it even if i put right if i can put one here but here extreme left there are matching so if i remove it everything gets appended on the left that's what so what is my way of thinking what will i do first thing is i want to match all the zeros and all the ones so i simply keep a counter right i can say that uh, zeros are like occurring number of times count of zeros is x and some count of ones will be some y or something then whenever uh, so we can take this example only whenever ones come i decrement the count of zero whenever one come i decrement the count of zero now i have no more zeros that means what i i cannot get any more zeros but it is actually having one i need a zero but it is not possible so you just know just do the length of these numbers logically speaking uh zero zero comes here means one one will come here but i don't have any more zeros i am forced to keep a one but everything will get deleted so uh, one two three four five six right six minus uh what is the i value zero one two two are already there because it's zero index six minus two is how much four is the length so that's how you are getting this four let's see for this also zero one one so count of zero is one uh, count of one is two i see zero so count of one becomes one here i'm putting here now one here i should take zero count of zero becomes zero okay now count of one i need a zero i don't have it so what do i do length of this minus index zero one two three minus two it is one that's how we get it so here it will be zero as you see zero will become one one will become zero like that how did we implement it implementation are lot of ways we can implement it i'm not using any map i'm just putting an array a uh, which is having zero and one as the index this zero and one represents the count so whenever i'm coming i'm just taking the ascii value so s of i will be a character zero right i'm taking the string as a string minus character of zero will be zero only and uh, if it is one minus ascii value of zero will be one so whenever it is there it goes to the corresponding index and increments the count one two three how many number of zeros comes and how many number of ones comes to the a array now i am iterating it again whenever one comes i am checking whether zero is there or not that's why i kept not here that is if s of i equal to one okay s of i equal to one that means a of one is what a of one minus zero is what a of one only so if i keep not one not one is what a of zero so whenever one comes i am referencing it to zero and i am decrementing the count until the count is greater than zero if it is equal to zero same for if a of uh, s of i is zero i am keeping not means it becomes one so if it is greater than zero i decrement the corresponding count of the alternate element then if it is equal to zero i just uh, go for the corresponding index n minus corresponding index i can't form any numbers here so i am assuming that those numbers are removed from t so that's the answer here so that's it guys so this is the solution and if you have any doubts please let me know in the comments 
so please share your comments if you like the video thank you see you in the next time